What's going on, going on YouTube? In this short tutorial, I just want to show you how you can make a funnel chart in Excel. So basically, funnel chart is like a bar chart, but it has is formatted in such a way where the large values are at the top and this where progressively smaller values are on the bottom. So whenever you make it in a chart, it kind of looks like a funnel. Now, first thing first, before you actually make the chart itself, it's important to have your data formatted in a way to where you have your largest data at the top and the smallest at the bottom. Um, and to have it towards kind of like cascading downwards. Um, so to then go make the chart. So here I have an example, we have impressions for and give an email. People that open the email, click the link in the email. People that place the item in the cart, make a purchase. And people that actually become repeat customers. These are just example numbers, but first you want to highlight the data that you want to make the chart out of. Then um, go to the insert tab, click on recommend the charts. Then click on all charts. Where you can see all the different charts you can make out of this data. And the second one from the bottom, you'll see funnel. There's really only there's only one variation of the funnel chart. Now click OK. And here you can see we have a super basic funnel chart. And you can edit this chart in a lot of the ways that you can in other Excel charts. For example, you can edit the text like you could other text. So let's say one in black font and then size 11. So it's just a bit easier to read or size 10, whatever you want to go for. You can just type in a chart title. Funnel chart example, because why not? You can adjust the gap width. So you, let's just say you, you're like, man, these things are kind of close together, right? You can make these look wider by right clicking on the uh, one of the bars from a data series, and boom, you can adjust the gap width. So as you can see, now they are not nearly so close together. Now they're getting closer together as you jump to get, adjust the gap, the gap width. You can also um, go through and adjust like the fill. So click on them, right click, adjust fill, and then you can just adjust the fill to fit what you would like to be fit. And you can even adjust, have the many different variations for the fill. You can go crazy. Um, so you can have like a gradient fill, a picture in the fill, um, whatever you have, like you can change transparency of the fill color. Um, yeah, you can adjust the border on the chart. So here, as you can see, we, the chart has a border. But let's just say we didn't want to have a border on the chart. Just click no border. And the chart doesn't have, any, have a border. So no when you remove grid lines. It might look a bit sleeker. Um, yeah, you can also just adjust. And you can mess around with this. But to kind of show you, you can adjust like the, for the different bars. You can adjust the transparency, the size, um, the angle, the edges, and the gap width. Too, like I talked about a bit, a bit earlier, um, there are also different pieces, so you can add access titles. Take those away. A funnel chart is unique, kind of, because defaults have a gate label, so you can um, have those on there, have those removed, and you can even even have um, very different options. So you can have the series name, the category name, or you, or you can have a separator, no separator. So this might make your life a bit easier. If you have it to where, hey, we have what what the different pieces are, and then um, so you can have it like this, for example, right? So what I did right there is I just clicked on the these uh, this axis right here, hit, hit backspace, and as you can see, hey, you know, we just have the bars and the stuff that's at, and the stuff that we want actually on the bars. Um, you can have a legend where you can have the different locations for the legends. You can have access title, no access title. You can choose to have access or not have access. Um, and now one thing to know, this is a little bit different. In a sense, like other bar charts, you can have like more numerical access, put it on there much easier, but um, not so much in a funnel chart. And yeah, that's just kind of a basic rundown of a funnel chart and the different things that you can edit. Um, and we, you can make this a, you can go a different route and make like a bar chart format and then format to like a funnel chart. Though this is easier than starting with a bar chart and formatting it to a funnel chart. Um, hope you found this to be useful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.